So in this video, what we're going to do is deal with laws of exponents when we have a bunch of factors written on a page. So I have 6 times AB squared C, and then we're multiplying that by 2A squared B over C to the third, and that is being raised to the negative second. So what can we do here? Usually the instructions are something like simplify the expression and eliminate any negative exponents. That's a way of saying use your laws of exponents until you can't anymore. Now, when I see this, I see that, okay, we got this factor group and this factor group here, we're trying to multiply them. But we can't multiply them directly because you can't multiply until you at least deal with this exponent right here. If there was no negative two here, you could multiply this group and this group straight away. But we want to deal with that exponent first. And our law of exponents tells us to distribute this exponent to every factor inside. So let's do that. Our first factor, 6ab squared c, is still there. And then we have, I'm just going to write, write it this way, 2 to the negative 2, a squared to the negative 2, b to the negative 2, so you can see everything being applied and c cubed to the negative two and this you know you might not write out this exactly when you're doing this but this shows us everything that's happening so again the six a b squared c is still there but now we go through this piece by piece if i have two to the negative two that's really one over two squared if i have a squared to the negative second that's one over a to the fourth because of the negative exponent, and we're squaring, uh, squaring again, so that's two times two, or four. Then we have b to the negative second, that is one over b squared, and then finally we have c cubed uh, to the negative second, and that is c to the negative sixth, so, or, and we have one over c to the negative sixth, but um, when we have a negative exponent, you can move to the other side of the fraction, and make it positive, so it's c to the sixth. Kind of like we did here with a to the negative fourth, I put it down below, to, so it's to not write negative four and write as a positive. So I'm, so I'm using that property there. And now we're basically set up to finish. Over here, six a b squared c, we're multiplying it by one fourth, and then we'll just write as one big fraction. Then we have one over a to the fourth, so I don't, I don't need the one above. All right, one times one times one times one times one is just one. And down here we have b squared. This one we don't need to write. And up top we have c to the sixth. So I don't need the one in front there at all. And this is my second factor. Now at this point, we've got a couple things going on. Uh, we can basically multiply this factor by this one directly. And an easy way to think about what's going to happen when we do that is to multiply the like parts. So we have six over four. That reduces to 3 halves. And notice I'm just dealing with each piece separately. a over a to the fourth. I'm thinking it's a to the negative third. And I'm going to write that as a to the negative third. Um, and we can move it down to, into the denominator later. b squared over b squared is just 1. And then c times c to the sixth is c to the seventh. And here, again, we want to deal with this. So that's 3. We still have our c to the seventh. And on the bottom, we have 2a cubed. That's the basic idea with this problem here. So we can't directly multiply these two pieces until we deal with and distribute this exponent. All right, thanks.